Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Metal Gear Solid 3, the Master Collection version on the Steam Deck. So this game, thanks to the person that let me know in the comments, is now verified on Steam Deck. It was playable, um, well I think it was incompatible. So now the game actually works like it should. It also got patched to add a, a sound option. We're now into the game. Um, basically, this is a game from the PS2 era, but this is the HD collection. I mean, the same game that was released for 360 and PlayStation 3. And well, what to say about the Steam Deck's visuals and performance? Well, there's no resolution options. It's like the game launches on the Steam Deck native. And I'm noticing that the, the UI is stretched. I'm not sure if you guys can notice that. But everything on the UI is completely stretched. It's 16 by 9, the UI. But the game itself appears to be 16 by 10. At least it's really graphics. <laughs> so yeah, you basically have to launch the game and it will run at 60 FPS. Which is awesome. But I can notice, at least when I played this on my main computer, that it likes to use one or two cores maximum. So usually when looking into the distance is when I had the most performance drops, to say it in some way. Oof, I didn't see him. <laughs> Man. But yeah, I'm so excited to be able to play this on the Steam Deck. It's still a very good looking game. The grass draw distance could use a little bit of a, of a higher setting, to say it in some way. But still, back, back before this was released, we had a... Um, say this... We had to use emulators to play this. It's nice to be able to do that. And as you can see now, we're using half the GPU and 30% CPU, so not a demanding game at all. But now it's verified, which is wonderful. I'm so happy, really. This is one of those games that I finish without killing anybody, using only tranquilizer darts and CQC. Okay. <laughs> Let's just say I forgot how to interrogate the other characters. <laughs> I love that. Alright, let's actually shoot them. This is a tranquilizer gun, so no killing. It's difficult to aim in this game. Oh, I didn't see him. But I'm so surprised that a game from this era has so good transparencies. I'll continue. But again, it will feel very outdated because this game is very old. But still, visually, I think it still looks great. Um, they're still after me. Let's get the, the bees. Not the bees! Oh, these are the bees. There we go. Not the bees! Let's just continue ahead. Let's pretend that didn't happen. And no, I don't have unlimited health. Have the rifle. But I mean, yeah, 
you can't go wrong with it. The good thing is Konami is still patching the game. There's a few issues that they're going to fix. So yeah, now I'm dead. So I think it's time to try it on handheld. Alright guys, welcome back. We are now in handheld again. Like usual, I shouldn't clarify this, but when the deck is connected to a power source, and when it's handheld, it's the same performance. So yeah, if you didn't know that, well, now you know. <laughs> um, it looks perfect on the smaller screen. I mean, Santiago from more than a decade ago would be so happy about this. I mean, I was playing this on the PlayStation 3, and I played it on PS2 before that. But I finished it on PlayStation 3. So yeah, this is, I mean, shouldn't be impressive, but to me at least, from a historical standpoint, it's great not having to use an emulator for this to work. The thing is, I wish it was a better port and we didn't have the squashed UI, but those are minor details. Even the textures are better to the eye. Those are pixelated textures. <laughs> okay, let's get the. There we go. Let's kill everything that moves. Just for content. I mean, yeah, this looks awesome. We skip. Right. So here at least I played it on the Nintendo Switch as well. Here I was dropping frames like crazy on Switch when I unlocked the frame rate. And it was using one core a lot. So the fact that it runs at 60 here is perfect. I thought it was going to be CPU bound because of using one core, but I was wrong. Good. So this means around two hours of battery. I think we can make it even better by tweaking the voltages, the watts, better said. So going to manual TDP limit. Okay, if I put it on 9 watts, it's very inconsistent. And if you put it at 3 watts, <laughs> well, you might as well play it at 30 FPS. Okay, 8, 9. As you can see, the frame times. With a lower wattage are not great. Yeah, no, it drops frames. That's why I usually don't touch this. Yeah, no. Yeah, let's keep it the same. Alright, there we go. Run button. Points. Who's that? It's so weird to shoot with with the X button. Also, if, yeah, it feels weird to aim pressing R1. I'll just get all of them. But as you can see, it runs just fine. It's now 60s without an issue. My only problem is that the UI is squashed a little bit because it's supposed to be 16x9 and the Steam Deck is 16x10. So that's my big issue with it. Otherwise, it's completely fine. It's just a game that was directly ported from the PS360 version. The HD edition. I think I got him. Major, I'm in front of Sokolov's cell. The, the door won't open. 
anyway so thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't played this game i highly recommend you do it the controls will feel awkward but after you get used to it it's fine and the steam deck i think is absolutely perfect super crisp the worst textures well fit better to the smaller screen um yeah if you're playing docked you can even do 1080p if you wanted to there's a lot of gpu power to spare so again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye guys